Hello, hello. Hey, Sandra, I'm glad you found me. Marie, glad to see you tonight. And Rita, wow, so I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. Uh, hold on, my desk is still a disaster, can't even start. But tonight I've got a really cool card for you and we're going to make a pocket with the envelope and put an insert in. I, this is really cool. Um, I can't wait to show this to you. But anyways, hold on, let me get my stuff uh, organized here while we have other people joining us. I haven't even got my phone set up yet. Ah, <laughs> love it, don't you? Okay, let's do that real quick. And oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, come on, phone. There you go. How much battery do I have? I don't even know how much battery I have. <laughs> All right, and share phone. Yay. So my husband and I are watching this show right now. I can't even tell you the name of it, but I got so into it that, um, yeah, totally lost track of time. And now I'm like rushing, but that's okay. It's all good. Everything's good. Life is good. <laughs> I'll just be grabbing for, my hair's a little crazy too. Just be grabbing, grabbing for things while we're doing this. All right. I got my camera set up. What else did we need to do? Oh, uh, I assume you can hear me because no one's saying they can't hear me. Everybody's saying hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I got Rhonda and Julie, Joan, Brenda. Hi, you guys. Okay. Um, first thing first, before we get started, let me uh, switch this over. Let me zoom in Ooh, a wee bit. Move my paper over. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Before we get started, though, um, you all, the Queen Bee stamp set bundle is coming back on March the 13th. So remember when I offered this card kit a couple months ago and then I had to take it back because they they ran out of the bundle. So I have it back now. If you got it on your email, um, you've got all the information. If you haven't gotten it in your email and you know you're signed up, uh, please message me. Or if you're not on my email, message me. And then you can always get on my email. Go to my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. And there is a link on the side to sign up for my newsletter. Also on this YouTube channel, if you're watching on the YouTube, there's a link down there also to sign up for my newsletter. All right. So these are the cards that come in the kit. They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I've had so many people order this already. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be forever cutting parts out, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. Uh, what's the other thing I want to tell you? Oh yeah. Don't forget online exclusive shop. Okay. So this is a brand new thing Stampin' Up! is doing. It's a new section in our online store. You'll never see the products in a uh, catalog. Okay. It's just online. So, um, and also don't forget if you order over 50, please put your host code in. I'm having to send some emails out for people who forgot because Stampin' Up! has changed their policy. They're only letting me put in 10 a month and I've already put five in and we're only in this day six. So um, you all have got to remember to put your host code in. If you don't know how, please let me know and I'll show you how, okay? Or I can walk you through it. All right, let's get on with tonight's card. All right, all right. Oh, we got tons of people here. I love it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to make this card is an envelope. <laughs> this is so fun. Now, you can either lick the envelope and seal it or not. And you can take some adhesive, okay, and put some adhesive on here. And um, go ahead and put it down the side. You want this nice and secured, but you don't want to seal it up right here, okay? Because we're going to be using that part. So we want to seal this down and just whoop, whoop. All right, so now it's closed up. We have a closed up clean envelope. And then, all right, let me put these measurements because you know all, I don't make tutorials for my Monday nights, uh, but I do try to put the information at the bottom so you can write it down. And then if you miss it, you can always rewind once it's a replay and you can get go back and get it. But so far we've sealed the envelope. Now we are going to trim off three eighths of an inch. That's in between a quarter and a half of a, a half an inch. That's a quarter and a half. So we want to go right and make sure that's right. Is that a quarter? Yeah, that's a quarter. And then that is three eighths right there. Okay. So that's three eighths. It's not very much. And we're just going to slice that off of there. Okay. Beautifully done. So now our envelope, come on, has a pocket. <laughs> now, okay. There's a new term I learned learning how to do this card. Oh my gosh. It's called 
an engagement hollow. Have you ever heard that? An engage. So the engagement part is pulling the card in and out. You're engaged with the card. And the hollow is making a hollow. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out an engagement hollow right there. All right. So let me get my trimmer here. I mean, my uh, cut and emboss machine here. And I'm just going to put that on there. Make sure it's kind of centered. All right. And also I'm making my plates like an E. So I have this one sticking out, this one coming in, and this one going back out. And it should go through the machine really easy. And yes, it does. Had y'all ever heard of that um, term, an engagement hollow? It totally makes sense. And it's so much better than saying, cut out a whatchamadoogie. <laughs> It's nice when you have the terminology, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So this is an engagement hollow. So I can pick the, the, the piece out that I'm going to be putting in here. All right, so that's that. Let me put this way. And of course, you all, these uh, stitch styled shapes, don't risk them going out. If you haven't gotten them yet, um, our catalogs are retiring at the end of April, and I don't know if this is going to be in the new catalog or not. We all hope it will, but if it's not, you don't want to forget to get that if you haven't gotten that. Okay, um, we've got that, that, that. Now what do we do? We need an insert. All right, so now what I did with my insert, I already did it already, but um, see these border dies? I love these border dies, but I took this one that's kind of looks like a, well, I'm not sure what it looks like. <laughs> stage door props and I cut let me zoom in so you can see it better I cut uh that shape off of there and notice my washi tape stuck to my paper be careful with your washi tape even though it's low tech it can still stick on there and this is cut at doo -doo -doo -doo, four and five quarters okay so that just sticks in there like that Okay, so now see, this is that engagement hollow. So you can grab the card. Now you can punch a hole here and put some ribbon in. That would be really pretty. I might do that later, not right now. But what I want to do right now is um, decorate the inside or the envelope part. Okay. And if you use a dark insert, you'll want to put some white in there, but the craft paper, this is called crumb cake, um, is light enough. You can write on it with a black pen and they can see it just fine. Okay, so let's do this. So I took some more crumb cake and I cut it at two inches. Come here. Oh, being ornery. Yep, it is. And I didn't quite know how long the envelope was across. I know it's longer than four, but I wasn't quite sure how far. So I'm just going to put that on there and then use the envelope as my um, guide. Okay, and then I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And if you want to make sure things are lined up nice and straight. Okay, got that. Now, like I said, we're just going to use the edge. Okay, one more thing. If you have a question or you need to get my attention for something, put a question mark or a cue. I like to scroll through and find them, but I do it pretty quickly. So I'm just looking, I'm just glancing, what do they call that? Scanning. I'm scanning for cues and question marks. And I don't see any yet. Okay. Okay. Good deal. All right. So, so far that's just two inches and then as far over as the envelope is. The next thing I'm going to do, have you all seen the new, I'm sure you have, everybody's using it right now, Irresistible Blooms. It is the hottest item right now. It's stamping up. Everybody's loving it. So, um, see, I cut out a big one. Here we go. Come here, Mr. Rose. So I cut out a big one and then I cut out a, I have all of them cut out actually, but, um, and then here's a light pink one, but um, I like the thank you stamp. It fits right on the big bloom. And so we're going to do that. Okay. There we go. Isn't that nice? Just Okay. And then what are we going to do here? We're going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm looking at my paper down here. Okay, so this one, 
is going to get popped up, but this one is going to be glued down. So let me, actually, let me get my glue. Where is my glue? I'm looking for your glue. Where are your glue? There you are. Okay. Okay, ordered this stamp set um, on March 1st. Yep, yep, yep. It is a gorgeous stamp set. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that right there. And then I have some leaves cut out also. Get those out. And then I also went ahead and they have the where you stamp and cut the leaf out, but they also have some of these like detail uh, dies. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, where you just punch it out and it does that. So, and I just did that in, what color is that? Mossy Meadow. I like Mossy Meadow and Crumb Cake. I think they're pretty together. Okay. Um, almost done here. Um, I have some ribbon. Let's do some ribbon. Have y'all seen this ribbon? The white with the gold. I don't know. It's uh, metallic. Isn't that beautiful? Gold metallic or it's rose gold metallic. Okay. Come back out. Come on. There we go. So, and I'm just going to do a knot. I'm not going to tie a bow. So I don't need very much. That should be good. Oh, and my tweezers. There they are. Okay. So how many of you already have Irresistible Blooms? Katie has it. Rita has it. Who else? It is an awesome. Okay, that's a little long. Let's shorten that baby up. I hate wasting this beautiful ribbon. It's so pretty. Okay, there we go. I love that. Now I am going to move it over. I've tied it, but I've not secured it. So how you move it, you can get your thumb and your forefinger and your uh, pointer finger and just pinch and twist, pinch and twist, pinch and twist till it gets to where you want it. All right. I want it right there. And then I'm going to take my thank you and I'm going to put that right there, but I'm going to put it up on dimensionals. Kimberly has it and Linda has it. Sherry has it. Amy's got it. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Okay. Well be sure to save this tutorial so that you can go back and make this, um, this design. It's so fun. It's an envelope pocket card. Now, the only thing is you're going to have to, pro if you're going to mail it, you're probably going to have to get a bigger envelope, a five by seven envelope, because uh, to try to put this envelope inside the same size envelope would be a little tricky. But um, anyways, so we've got that. We need to put these leaves in. So let me get some glue on here. Okay. And then we'll put one down here. All right, so far so good. And then we need this little guy. So should he go down here um, or up here? Over here? Over here? Oh, no, he looks all by himself over there. Yeah, we'll put him up there. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I have the... Right. Ooh, I'm a little shaky. Too much caffeine on this thyroid. <laughs> my doctor told me I'm just not supposed to have caffeine anymore. Do you know how hard that is? Oh, my gosh. How many of you guys have to give up caffeine for your health? Ugh. All right. I think it needs one more thing. This needs a little more something. I'm just going to take a hole punch. Where's my hole punch? Is that a hole punch? That's a little hole punch. That'll do. It's my one-eighth hole punch. I don't know if the ribbon will go through it, though. You know what? I bet it won't. Hold on. We've got this really cool hole punch. It's a triangle. Hold on. Let me find it. Oh... I need something. It's never right where I want it, is it? Oh, where are you, triangle? It's a funky shape, so I never have it. Here it is. Oh, phew. Okay. So this one, I don't even know if this is still available. Um, it might be. Anyways, it's got a slit right there uh, that makes it so much easier to do a thick ribbon like this. So I want to match that up. Yep. And press down. There we go. Well, uh, could have been closer, but anyways, <laughs> that's all right. Um, but this ribbon here. So I want to put this in here. 
So there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better than trying to. Oh, that's a lot of ribbon. All right. I don't need that much ribbon. I like to try to save this as much as I can. There we go. Now, have you all seen this trick where you just, you don't tie it. What you do is you take some twine, or in this case, linen thread, and you tie these together. Okay, so let me clamp these together. So stay still. And put the linen thread. Come on, linen thread. And now all I'm going to do is tie it together. So pull it up a little bit. There we go. And then do a little bow. So that's just a fun way of putting a ribbon on there without tying that big thick ribbon. Cool, huh? Now, when you put this in here, whoops, come on. <laughs> there, now it has a ribbon to pull it, okay? You guys like today's card? Oh my gosh. So one more time, let me go back to the instructions if you didn't get a chance to write them down. Number one, seal the envelope. Number two, cut off three eighths of an inch. Then take some kind of circle punch or circle die and create what we call an engagement hollow. Your insert is four by five and a quarter. That's all there is to it. And then you just decorate it like usual. My gosh. Oh, y'all, thank y'all so much for showing up tonight. Um, y'all just make what I do so much fun. I love getting to talk with you guys and, and look at all the stuff you're saying. Um, Oh, Chris sent an, okay, Chris, I'll catch your uh, message in, after I close down here. Great. And <laughs> uh, Tammy says, I need my coffee, can't function without. That's how I am, Tammy. I couldn't believe my doctor told me that, but I kind of understand why. I, I do shake quite a bit. Um, even though I know it's a lot to do with my thyroid, it has a lot to do with me having too much caffeine too. So, ah, so funny. All right. Well, I didn't see any questions. Oh yeah, it is easy, Renee. Easy. Uh, she says, awesome, easy, easy peasy. Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait. Remember, take a picture of yours and put it on our Facebook group page. Okay. You can put it on this page too. If you're on the uh, Facebook page, uh, page that this video's on, that's fine. But if you'll put it in our group, that's a private group and only people who answer the questions um, are admitted in. So you don't have the worry of, of scammers, you know, doing stuff or whatever. But anyways, that's why I have a private group and a public group. Public so everybody can find me, but private so you all can engage with me without worrying about other stuff. Love you guys. Y'all are the best. Okay. See you Wednesday for Card Challenge Wednesday. Bye-bye.